Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we got some big news. This is from yesterday, about 5.30, and it is that the Rangers have traded Jose Trevino in exchange for two pitchers from the Yankees, Albert Abreu and Robbie Alstrom. Now this came out of absolutely nowhere because normally we see like Evan Grant tweets, oh, Rangers are pending a trade for Jose Trevino or something from any other reporters. I don't remember seeing anything. I might have missed it because I just saw this and was like, whoa. But anyway, this is a trade that went down and unfortunately it was a little bit inevitable because it was either going to be Trevino that got traded or Jonah Heim. Uh, obviously, Mitch Garver is going to be the guy. They're going to wait on Sam Huff a little bit here. But yeah, it was between Jose or Jonah and it ended up being... Jose, so definitely going to miss him as a player. He's a great guy, great on the field, just dedicated, hardworking, all the great stuff you could ever say about a, a player. But we're going to get into these two guys because I've never heard of either of them. I mean, you know, the Yankees have a lot of depth in their teams, rosters, and systems. So we'll take a look. They did leave this nice thank you to, to Jose for his time in Texas. I think he's been here a while. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I don't fully remember though, but I, I think he's been here quite a while. So definitely always hurts to see, uh, someone who's been on the, in the system a while get traded, but we're going to take a look at the numbers here for both Abreu and Alstrom. So I thought this was weird for the Yankees in general to do because they got rid of Gary Sanchez and then they have had Kyle Higashioka, who seems to be killing it. He has seven home runs this spring, including two in the game on Saturday. Um, and then they were kind of lacking a catcher. They they traded two catchers to the Twins. So I guess it obviously makes sense for them. I just thought the timing and everything was weird. I, don't, I guess the catcher market is not all... There's not a lot of free agent catchers, I don't think... Um, and the Yankees want top end guys, of course, so they got a, a quality catcher in Jose Trevino. Uh, but getting into the two guys that they got, Abreu, only 26 years old, was 2 0 with one save and a five ERA in 28 games, struck out 35 and walked 19. So, you know, he, he made his big league debut only a couple years ago, and it seems like he used to be a starter which does mean he has that capability if they need someone to go three, four, five innings. I don't know how he's going to immediately slide into the bullpen or what their plans are, but, you know, don't look at the ERA too much with a reliever and I guess at one point a closer as well because, yes, it was 28 games, but that was probably 28 innings, you know, and you have one or two bad nights, that number is going to get inflated. So that's what I always say with, relievers is don't look too much at the ERA uh, I mean because it's, it depends obviously five is not great but for a middle reliever whatever position he is that's okay for now and then he'll get more time with us as well but anyway he has not allowed a run in four games this year over almost five innings so look at the present right you know what they did last year and I don't take too much stock in spring training. However, it is a, sometimes a good indication of generally how a player is developing. So that's exciting. And then Alstrom didn't pitch in pro ball last year, but he was drafted in the seventh round in 2021 from the University of Oregon. So I pulled up his numbers here because they didn't have him on MLB pages yet. But overall, a 3.5 ERA in 187 innings for a pretty solid baseball school. Uh, it seems like he mostly started. Not sure if he was uh, injured in 2020, but had his best year by far in 2021. 2.5 ERA, 9-3, and 14 starts. Pretty solid stuff. Uh, strikeout to walks, that's a big one. Pretty solid numbers there, right? So, and then I believe this is batting average against is 231, also pretty good. So, you know, 
these are just more pitching depth pieces for Texas. These guys will be great, I'm sure. Don't know what the plan is for Abreu because he is MLB ready. And uh, with Alstrom, they might want to give him at least a season, half season, whatever it may be in Triple A, double A, however they feel about him. So I'm not a expert on developing players, but that is pretty much it for this trade. And there's also been a different trade going down while I have been making this video. Not with Texas, but Sean Manea of the A's did get traded to the San Diego Padres. So the A's are almost solidifying a last place finish for themselves in the AL West. I mean, it's going to be tough for them to do well with the complete fire sale they've done so far. So anyway, that's not what this video is about, but let me know what y'all think about this trade uh, and the Rangers off season. You know, I, there's only five more days of it left, but I think they've had a pretty solid off season. I was a little bummed out about them not getting certain guys, but at the end of the day, can't complain. They got the middle infield solidified for the next decade. They got a ton of good pitching prospects coming up. They got Mitch Garver. I mean, I'll make a different video at some point about the offseason. But once again, let me know your thoughts. Thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you all later.